<laughs> Somebody said they understand what the pirate crews are selling corn on the job for W. Smith's Buccaneer. In all Island Podcast on WJR. This morning, sponsored by Starline Mackinac Island Ferry, where your Mackinac Island adventure begins. Get discount tickets and vacation packages at MackinawFerry.com. Once again, Paul W. Smith. And, uh, and if you'd like to see just how beautiful the weather is on Mackinac Island, as well as knowing how great it is here right now, it's another beautiful morning, uh, you can uh, go to social media or WJR.com or YouTube or any number of other ways, and you will see uh, this portion of the broadcast as well as at 818 when Brad Chambers is here, Mackinac Island Carriage Tours, because we're virtually on the island. And uh, if you missed it, uh, Coach Jim Harbaugh said, hey, you're at Mackinac. Yeah, we are virtually. But the guy who's really on the island, and, and let me just describe that he happens to be on a pirate ship, if you can't see it, Jerry Fetty, the CEO of Starline Mackinac Island Hydro Jet Ferry. Happy season to you, Jerry. Thank you, Paul. Good morning. It's glad, Good. great to be here. We're having super weather today. Well, we're having super weather here. We've had a run of it, and I hope for you and for Mackinac Island this kind of uh, great weather through the summer because that'll be good for business, and we all need things that are good for business. You do a great job there with the Hydrojet Ferry, and we've always talked about that. We've been up there on your dock doing our broadcast in the past, and as you pointed out a moment ago before we came back live on WJR, you and I would share a fine cigar. We would each have a cigar out on the dock, and uh, it's a pretty special place to do that. I'm yes, hoping we're able to do that again this season if we come up for the uh, the stone skipping contest on July 4th. But you've added a little something new. This is kind of exciting. You took the risk of taking over the ferry, and you've done a tremendous job with it. It's turned out great. But you've added a little something special with the uh, this Friday, you will inaugurate your, your pirate ship and then a big pirate festival on Saturday. Tell us about it, Jerry. That's right, Paul. Uh, we brought the pirate ship, the Good Fortune, here to our docks in Mackinac City and Mackinac Island and thought, what a great thing to do to take people to the island and let them enjoy their trip over. We got, As you can see, it's all open air uh, decks on it, so nice and uh, healthy and safe. You know, what better place to be in the Great Lakes here, but you know, to give people a, a unique experience with heading over to the island, it's just fun. Everybody loves pirates. I'd say there's a little pirate in everybody, and, uh, you know, people are just uh, loving this boat, and it's awesome. We just rode over it on it this morning, and the weather was great. It was just a, an awesome ride. And on Saturday, we're going to hold the first ever uh, Great Lakes Pirate Festival on our dock in Mackinac City. We're going to have people, we're going to have a dress as a pirate contest, a talk like a pirate contest. And uh, anybody dressed as a pirate actually will get a free barbecue lunch and a, uh, they get a buy one, get one free uh, rides on the pirate ship. And we're going to culminate the night with a couple of pirate cruises uh, as well that night. The first cruise is almost sold out and we've started a second cruise uh, for folks who didn't get on on the first cruise. But it's just going to be a lot of fun uh, this weekend and all summer long. That's just great. Show up in a pirate's outfit and get some free food. That's right. And some free pirate dancing as well. Now, Paul, I think if you dressed like a pirate, you would look great with that beard that you have there. You'd be a perfect pirate. I would have to wear the beard with an eye patch and, and maybe I could uh, get a hook. I could be Captain Hook. Well, no, you're the Captain Jerry Fetty. <laughs> and uh, this sounds great. How did this idea come to you to do this whole sort of thing? Well, a couple of years ago, uh, the boat was in the area and they were doing cruises under the Mackinac Bridge, and those were a lot of fun. And we, you know, the idea, you know, it kind of festered a little bit, and we thought about it, but we thought, you know, what a great thing if we can get a double whammy, basically, take people to the island, and at the same time, they can have entertainment on the way over to the island and just enjoy the cruise. And, and, and when that boat was on our dock back then, every time somebody walked past it, they would look at me and go, hey, can I ride the pirate ship to the island? And I'd have to say, no. It, you just can take it on a cruise and go under the Mackinac Bridge, which is fun, but it doesn't go to the island. And they say, we want to go to the island on it. And after I was asked that question about 10,000 times, you know, I'm a little slow, but the idea finally popped into my head. <laughs> As a good businessman, you went, wait a minute. People really want to do this. I ought to make it happen. So was it? were there a lot of hoops to jump through to have a uh, an open air pirate ship like this be uh, usable to ferry people back and forth? 
Well, actually, not too many, Paul, because the, the boat was already set up to carry passengers. It was built uh, here in the United States, uh, down south. And uh, basically, you know, the only thing that we really had to do to it is we're limiting the amount of people that we put on the boat, not only because of the, the COVID and the pandemic, but also just so people have a lot of room to move around and enjoy the ride and have fun. So uh, coming up June 19th, the good fortune kicking off the summer with five trips to and from Mackin Island for visitors. June 20th marks the first ever Great Lakes Pirate Festival. And because people want to know, uh, uh, that some people are wondering if it's, if it's going to sail or if it has a motor, but I think I know the answer to that. You have a motor on that boat. Correct. It does have some sails, but they're really not functional. It's just more for the the look, or the authentic pirate look, but we do have uh, actually two motors on the boat. It actually sails along pretty good on the motors, and uh, but we we like we like to take it kind of easy coming over to the island, so people have extra time to enjoy the trip over. How many uh, passengers did you say can ride? Well, the boat is certified for 150 people, but we limit the boat down to 80 uh, for the cruises. And uh, for just coming over and back and forth to the island, we limit it down to about 100 or under 100. And to, to schedule it, do the same thing. Go to MackinawFerry.com, your usual Correct. website. Yep. Yeah. Yes, MackinawFerry.com. And you do have to schedule which particular ride you want to head over on. Or you can actually take the boat back from the island, too. Head over on a hydrojet ferry. Enjoy the island, and then on the way back, you know, have a relaxing ride on the pirate ship on the way back. Starline, Mackinac Island, Hydrojet Ferry, and the only pirate ship to sail the seas to get you to and from Mackinac Island. And you get the information at MackinawFerry.com. And it's all the hard work of Jerry Fetty, the CEO of Starline, Mackinac Island, Hydrojet Ferry, and your good team. Aye, aye, matey. Hi, right, Paul. Actually, it's I, I, Captain, I should say, right. for you. I'm I'm <laughs> the matey. I'm the working well, part of the crew. You're the captain. Well, I'm actually the admiral, and the captain's standing right behind me right here right now. This ah, is Captain Kyle. I see. And he has his mask on. They had to worry about COVID-19 way back when there were pirates as well. All right. I, I, admiral, and to the captain as well. Thanks, Jerry. You're welcome, Paul. Have a great day. Bye now. More fun. More fun. Now the fun begins just even to get there to the island at uh, 729 on WJR. This report is sponsored by Tax Chat by EY. Think you might owe on your taxes? Let Tax Chat.